everyone. I'm Kelly Harrell, author, modern animist, and runes fangirl. Soul Intent Arts is my spiritually focused practice, and you're listening to What in the Weird, my podcast in which I talk about runes, animism, soul tending, and how all of that intersects through sacred activism on my path. My big news for this week involves a couple of things. I will be leading a discussion of the runes in season for Arun's Telesummit this Friday. You can register for the Telesummit by going to my Instagram, which is Kelly Soul Arts, that is K E L L E Y Soul Arts, and follow the link in my profile. It's completely free, and myself and many other rune scholars will be discussing all kinds of aspects of the runes for the next week. It's really cool, so be sure to check it out. Also, my mini rune course, um, Reawakening with the Runes, is open for enrollment. This course is a primer on coming into direct relationship with the runes. So if you've tried to work with the runes and it just didn't come together, if you know absolutely nothing about the runes and you want to start at square one, or if you're a seasoned veteran but you want a more nuanced way to work with the runes, this is the course for you. It's five weeks, delivered directly to your inbox, all for $35. So if you want to register for Reawakening with the Runes, go to my classroom site, spiritedpaths.com, and the information for Reawakening with the Runes is there. The weekly rune is out, and if you're not sure what it is, it's a rune cast that I've done for years focused on the runic calendar and the current half-month rune. If you're not sure what a half-month is, listen to the early episodes of What in the Weird, or just go read the weekly rune at soulintentarts.com. The half-month rune is explained at the beginning of every rune cast. I want to give a special shout-out to my new supporters at Patreon, Kenneth, Amy, and Jeannie. Thank you for joining in the Rune Fun, and also thanks to all of my Patreon supporters who make the sharing of my Rune work through the RuneCast and podcast possible with their financial support. If you want to show your support for What in the Weird and the Weekly Rune, go to patreon.com and search for the Weekly Rune, and thank you so much for doing that. If you want to subscribe to the Weekly Rune, you can do so at my website, which is soulintentarts.com. Holy cats. So I missed a couple of weeks of the podcast because I was sick and I want to catch us up to the current half month rune. Through the summer, we talked all about the build up from Ansu's to Rago, which is moving from naming things to storytelling, which then culminates in Kenas or Kauna, which is finding meaning. We talked about all of that in detail, then kind of detoured into book talk, Runic Book of Days, which is my new book that just came out at the beginning of September. Go buy it. So let's talk about where we are now and how it makes sense in the seasonal progression. I'm going to start back with Kenaz since that's where we derailed. Kenaz comes at the time in the north that we are experiencing the autumnal equinox. It's curious because acknowledging this equinox isn't as big a deal in the more northern climates as much as it is in the southern regions. Why? Well, because in the north, they really only have two seasons, summer and winter. They don't have four, and the ancients didn't have four either. It's interesting to me that we experience this natural procession of light, which a lot of people don't even have. They don't have the nuances of the between seasons. And to me, that fuzziness in how we experience the planet's tilt around the sun's light is pretty much a huge deal for anything alive on Earth. And that same fuzziness applies to how we find and acknowledge meaning in our lives. Kenaz is the result of the first at challenges of being a spirit in form and figuring out how we're both the miracle of creation that can create. It's a brain burner if you sit with it. It's humbling 
And that process plays out over and over with us. That's the progression of Fehu, Aros, and Thurasas. That ability to create begins with having an interpretation of life, which is Ansu's, naming things. Then how we situate ourselves into that greater narrative is Raido, how we tell our story. It's never enough to just put words out, to just be. So we're naturally drawn to find the meaning in it, to make meaning of it. And that is Kenaz. The current half-month rune is Gebo, and we're in the second week with it. Gebo is one of those runes that everyone wants in their casts. Every time I work with clients who are rune savvy, they're intent on Gebo coming up in their readings, and with good reason. Gebo is the point along all of this work that we've been doing, this self-creation and figuring out how we situate in the world, what spin we can and should put on situating in the world, Gebo is the first point that we connect with others who are doing the same thing. And by same thing, I mean this whole process. It's the first point along the creation of ourselves that we reach outside of ourselves, and that is a pretty big deal. Because this bid for partnership comes so early in the progression of the first et, I think it means it's a deeply significant component of who we are as humans. It means that generosity is a pillar of our existence. And that means that in order to create ourselves the best that we can, we need other people, which is, you know, a little rough sometimes for introverts to hear. But that exchange of gifts with others to further understand who we are as individuals and what we bring to the world, it's a requirement. and It's huge, really. In the New Age, um, the climate of the 90s and the late double O's, all the emphasis of self-development was put on the individual and none of it on our role in community or relationships. Gebo turns that idea on its head by suggesting that it's not just keen in our development to understand how we engage with others and the mutual benefit of doing so, but that we may not really know who we are as individuals until we do so. So this week, think about what you're giving, how well you receive, and what your overall attitude toward generosity is. For the details on how that fits into this week's RuneCast, Read the weekly rune at soulintentarts.com. That's it for this episode. If you have questions or insights about Gabo or the runes in general, feel free to email me at kelly at soulintentarts.com or call in through the Anchor app, which you can download for Android or iPhone. Also, check out earlier episodes by downloading them from Google Play or iTunes and all the billion other podcast platforms. And if you get a chance, check out Everyday Animism, which is a podcast that I co-host with two other lovely ladies. Um, You can learn more about me and my work by visiting soulintentarts.com. I am most active on social media at Instagram, at Kelly Soul Arts. And if you want to be updated Um, and receive the weekly rune in your email, be sure to join my mailing list at soulintentarts.com. I'm Kelly, and this has been What in the Weird. Mm -hmm.